right, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Living Live Daily with Dre. I'm out here at the Woodruff Dam out in Chattahoochee, Florida. Finna get it a try. I was hoping some of the gates were open, but they're not, not a single one. But nevertheless, it's just a gorgeous day out here. Cloudy day. And I'm gonna get it a try. I brought some pictures. I brought some of the catfish bait. I'm gonna try to get on some catfish out here and I try to see what it do. I'm gonna set up for some brown fishing. I got some bait. I'm gonna get my rod set up and try to get going, guys. It's actually low out here today. Low than it's been in a while. I can say none of the gates are open. It's kind of calm, but as you throw back up towards the front, it's starting to get a little of that turbulence, but I guess that's a good thing. Oh, check out the day, guys. Check it out. And what I'm going to be doing today, I am going to put up a little drone footage. I'm going to get my drone and put my drone up and see can I show y'all a little of the sights out here. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get set up. It's a gorgeous day. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, guys, please do so. You know, to help support the channel. Like I say, I got my neck because I'm going to try to do some, um, get some pictures later. I got a few in my cooler right here. Let's um, see. I got some in there right now that I'm going to be throwing out on the bottom. A little catfish or some of those stripers. I got some of the um, catfish stink bait. The lady was telling me about at the store right there. She said that is excellent for um, catching catfish. We're going to see. Got a little rig right here that I'll be. She told me to put this right here on it. Just press it on there and just throw it out there. And you just tie this line right here onto like a leader. And um, just like a leader like this right here, that's what you'll be tying that line onto. So I'm going to untach this and tie it onto the bottom of that right there and throw it out there keep my own um, keep my weight and like I said I'm gonna be putting the drone up get a little footage for y'all but other than that I'm gonna get set up and try to see how this day gonna end y'all ride it with me let's get it Got a fish on, guys. Think I got a fish on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Be a big old cat. Yep. I got some of that at home. You guys are eating. That's a good sign, too. Fresh water cat. Hmm. Right there, guys. Nice garfish. <sighs> Oh man. I don't know, you think we should do a catch, clean, and cook on a guard? Oh man. I don't know. A guard nuggets, maybe? Oh, so fish. Ah. Ooh, look at that mouth.
right here at the Woodrow Dam. Hi guys, I have this garfish here that I caught, probably about a maybe a pound, pound and a half. And um, look at the scales on it. Scales are like armor. Uh, people be talking about they got hard scales, so I want to do a cash clean and cook on it, but um, I'm gonna have to do a little reading up on it. Um, I know they cut down the back with some shears, and I think they just. Put you know, fillet the meat off the side of their body. So, definitely a prehistoric looking fish, guys. Look at that. Look at that mouth. Ooh. Little razor sharp teeth right there. So, some of them say they are delicious, but you have to be careful because they have that some toxin like in their um, they gut cavity and you don't want to pierce it. So, I'm definitely, um, gonna give it a try another experiment that uh, I'll be doing so that y'all don't want to miss it so stay stay tuned for that right there Check this out right here. A nice gar gumbo, guys. This is so good. It look delicious. Check it out. Gar gumbo. And I'm gonna show you step by step how I did this. So y'all come on, sit back, relax. I got something special for you today, and it is crazy, crazy wild. Like I say again, something totally different that I've been catching out there, wanting to try. End up going to Chattahoochee, Florida, to the Wood Drum Bridge out there to the dam and end up catching one. So I bring it back and I've um, been doing a lot of research on it and um, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it, the best way to prepare it, clean it, and all of that stuff. So today I have one here today, guys, that I want to show you. There it is. This is the garfish, guys. Ooh, check that out. Little prehistoric fish. Some say it's good. They say it tastes like chicken, but we're going to give it a try. But first, before we give it a try, we got to clean it. And as you know, on cleaning one of these, if you listen, God is super hard scales. And so you really you will not be able to get in like that see, uh, to clean it at all. You will not be able to do it. So a lot of people say take like the kitchen shears, and um, what you gonna have to do is what you gonna have to do is get in between like cut it down here, straight down, and then you gonna have to open it up, and then you gonna take your knife and slowly separate it. From the um, from that shell, guys. It, you hear that? Right? That is so. It's definitely gonna be a challenge, but but what I decided to do is different from what you would do with the shears. What I decided to do, yeah, boy, if you see it, put my mechanic skills on it. So what I'm thinking about doing is using this right here, and what I'm thinking. Just take it, and you don't want to go too deep with this, because I mean, pretty, I mean, it pretty much is an overkill. But instead of you know taking all that time using the shears, I'm think I'm gonna just use this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gently just go down, go down the, the back like that to about there. What I have been told is the meat has a toxin inside the um, gut cavity. And you don't want to pierce that and get in, let it get into your fillet or whatever. So you got to be careful. So I'm going to use that, but it's going to be loud. So since it's going to be so loud, I'm going to cut the sound. I'm still going to get in and show you how I'm doing it.
Alright guys, I did tell you that that was going that drill was gonna be an overkill, so and that was. But I think I got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to separate it the meat. And see, can we do what it do? Take your time and um, just slowly remove it from the I don't see like it's going pretty good, so you just gotta take your time. Don't be in no hurry. That's for sure. Alright, so back at it. Yeah, I've been having them. Somebody asked me if I caught one, I would do a catch, clean, and cook on it. So, kind of feel like I'm killing an alligator, guys. And I never cleaned an alligator before, but this definitely reminds me of one. But, like I say, guys, make sure you take your time so you don't want to rush it. But. Looking good so far. Okay. Just peel it all down. Just like that. Peel it back. Just like that. Just like that. Prehistoric fish. Okay. All right. So, this is what you're going to be left with. Just like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this rinsed off and get every clean, everything clean up and i'm gonna start on the other side so all right so i got this side done and i'm starting on the other side and just do the same thing like you did so take your time because like i say this fish does has a toxin in it and you don't want to pierce the um the gut cavity at all on this fish so i encourage you if you're going to try this just take your time my first time doing it as i stated already just let your hands feel you know and take it on down see how it's opening up Just like that, that's what you're looking for. What we want to do now is take so like like the the loin off. We just want to take both of the loins off. So from the backbone. Guys, we are working with some money right now. Check it out, guys. Woo! And all that 
like you don't want to go inside so just that little tin alone right there okay so I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and get the other loin off the other side so Alright, got that loin off. Alright guys, got him. That's what you want. See, all of that in there, you just want to get that loin off. Because in there, it's that like toxin, you know, in their gut cavity. So, but as you can see, right there. We just got that loin off. See all that, see all of that right there? You didn't want to get in. I did an excellent job, guys, as you can see. I got all the loin cut out perfect. It came out, you know, exactly how I wanted. I did not want to hit that gut cavity. So, like I say, if you're going to do it, make sure you take your time. And using this, like I say, it was an overkill, but it, you know it took a lot of time off it was perfect you know i didn't hurt the fish and um what i end up with is two nice two nice guys lawrence right here that's what you're looking for right there perfect a little tender lawn off of a guard fish guys okay all right so now that i got the lawns all ready and um, i'm gonna go ahead and show you my next step what i'm gonna do Maybe like a gar gumbo with some rice, some okra, and something like that. So let's go ahead and get everything prepped up. And I'm going to show you the next step of how to make it this turn these two loins right here into a delicious meal, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this party started, guys. I got all my ingredients here. I'm going to show you what I got. I got my shrimp. That's my gar. A little of the basil I got right here, flour, some of the okra that I was growing. There's some of it right here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to cut it up for you. I got the onion. I got my green onion. I got my celery, my pepper. I got a half a cup of rice. Got me some stock, pepper. That endure sausage. You already know it's going down with that endure sausage, guys. I got a half a stick of butter. Some of my season, some onion powder right there. A little bit of base season. And some of that, woo, God, Russia, 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 sister sauce. There it is. And guys, I got all the ingredients. And I'm going to turn all of the ingredients into this right here. And I'm going to show you step by step how I made it. So. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be good. Like I say, that gar, guys, is like I say, another one out of my comfort zone. But I'm going to get down on it. I always want to catch one. You know, people have been talking about, you know, do a alligator gar, catch, clean, and cook. I finally got lucky and um, got me one, bring it back, cleaned it. I showed you the cleaning process. But this is the next step, guys. I'm going in. Sit back and relax, guys. Let's get it. All right, now that you got all your vegetables chopped up and ready, this is what you're going to be left with right there. Like I can say you got your onions, celery, green onions, and peppers. And you have your okra, you have your garfish, and you have your shrimp. And what I'm using right here, I'm using the red shrimp. You can use any shrimp that you want to use, but this is what I'm using. And um, to me, it has a more a sweeter taste, more that of a crab. So, only thing I'm gonna do with these right here is I'm just gonna peel them, just like that. I'm just gonna take the shell off, and um, just take the shell off them guys, and just do them just like that. And just like these are already clean and um, deveined. I don't think I'm doing, I'm just taking the shell off. Like I said, you can use any shrimp if you want to use, but this is just the one I prefer to use. Like I say, it has a sweeter texture to it. And um, didn't regular shrimp. 
God, this right here is going to be good. I already know it is. Out of my comfort zone, but it's going to be good. Let's set those over there. And when I get through peeling all of this, I'm going to go ahead and start. Like I say, I'm going to go ahead and start my rice. Get my rice going. That's about the, what's really going to take the longest. Everything else is going to come together. So, like I say, I got my shrimp. Got my gar. Okra. And all my vegetables. Okay, I got my cup of rice here. And I got my water in the back. Right there, which I'm going to go ahead and cut it on. So I can get it started. When it come to start the boil, I'm going to pour in this right here. Get it in. I'm gonna use this rice right here because it pairs well with it, and with this rice, it'll soak up all them flavors. So you can use any rice. You don't necessarily have to use plain rice. I'm using plain rice. You don't have to use it. And I'm be going in with my stock and all my seasoning right here and my sausages. But to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan ready. I'm going in with a stick of or well, half a stick of butter right here and I'm gonna put that in there and you won't let it melt down and once that melt down we're gonna add in a little flour and we're just gonna whisk that so it turns like a caramel color and once it does that we're gonna go ahead and put our vegetables in there and let them cook down and you know I'll show you and um so all right we can go ahead and get it ready everything is prepped and ready i'm just waiting on like i said my butter to get done and once my butter melts down i'm gonna go ahead and put all my vegetables in there stir them in let them whizzle down and cook down and then i'll add me some broth and all my other ingredients so all right now that the butter's melted you don't want it too hot but now that it you got it melted add in your little flour A little bit. Um, they don't get it everywhere though. And you just want to just stir this in just like that. Turn your heat down because like I said you don't want this to burn. You just want it to get like that that caramel look. So you just want it just like that. So get the heat down. That's what you're looking for right there, right there. Okay, so now, you got that how you want it. Go ahead and add in your vegetables. Just like that. And get, get all your little excess out of it. You don't want that in there. Just like that. You just want it to cook down. Cook it all that go soak up all that flour and that butter. And just let it cook down. You just want it to become soft. Everything to get soft and then when we get soft we're gonna go in and add in our I will, I will stop. I'll stop. It's going to come in and thicken it up. And then we're going to go in with some of these right here. Some of the hunts right here. Tomatoes. We're going to go in with some of that. So. Oh, we're going to come together, guys. You already know that. It's going to come together nice. So. I say get that time. And this is already starting to boil. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and, I'll, like I say, add my rice. Half a cup of rice right there. And then when that comes to a boil, when rice comes to a boil, we just go turn the heat down and let it simmer. So we got that going. Go ahead and break that down. This is working. All of it is coming together, guys. Alright, so now this is what you want to be looking for right here. Just how soft it is. And while it's sitting there getting its mind right. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add me some of my okra in there. I don't need too much. Some of my okra. Get 
Don't want to hear the stir that in. Yeah, this is already looking like this one. Good. Add in my okra. All right, so we're gonna let that cook about five minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and, I already started some of it right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get me some garlic started. And what's a good gumbo, guys, without some garlic? Mm -hmm. Garlic here, I don't think I'm gonna use that one, but this should be enough. Go ahead and get the garlic diced up. Alright, go ahead and add the garlic in there. Give it a stir. Once you get all your garlic stirred in there, go ahead and start cutting up your andouille sausage. So, I got it right here. Alright, now, sausage here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it like this right here and give it like a nice presentation, a nice look. So, I'm Get that diagonal cut like that. So, you know, versus the regular old way. So, get that diagonal cut. Just like that. So, those pieces like that right there that look nice and pretty. So, same thing with that one. You see guys, I already know this is going to be good. It smells good anyway. You can smell that. All them onions and peppers. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, that should be enough sausage right there. Alright, so now that's already cooking, so we're going to go ahead and put I'll undo the sauce in there and go ahead and get out a twist just like that. Ooh. Oh man, that's gonna be good. I'll right, go ahead and let that cook. Check on my rice. My rice is doing good over there. Get a lid and put on the rice, and a lid and put on this. Then I'm gonna add in my own tomatoes right here. So. All right, now that it's cooked down like a light, go ahead and add in your seasoning. I'm gonna add in some pepper. Add in a little onion powder. A little bit of that old bay. Right there. And I have a little some basil that I had that I got. I'm gonna add in my basil. And get out of stir. Oh God, can you smell it? Mm. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in about four cups so the beef broth right here. You can use any broth you have. You know, it's chicken broth, beef broth, or or you can use um, fish broth. I wish I had some fish broth, but I don't. 
Oh god, yeah. Mm hmm Yes, yes, yes. Now you see what I'm talking about. Now you see it. See how it's thickening it up? See how it's coming together? Turn my rice down. Let my rice just marinate for a little bit. Get my lid for my rice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my own um, my can of tomatoes so so i'm gonna bring this down to a simmer that is looking good oh yeah man if i could tell you that's gonna be good mm, 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 mm. And if i'm gonna simmer then i'm gonna go ahead and add in my tomatoes simmer and then we're gonna let it go for about five minutes about so everything can cook and um soak up all the, the flavors and while they're doing that i'm gonna pull my attention over here and go ahead and well i'm gonna sear up my um gar i'm gonna sear it here i'm not gonna sear these i'm gonna put these over in there but i want to all kind of go about at the same time so i'm gonna sear these and get them all cut up and sear them and then I'm going to add this for about two or three minutes. Then I'm going to add my gar and then let it go for like two or three minutes and all of it come together, come out at the, at the same time. So, all right, got my pan hot and this is the gar right here. I already got it cut up. So, gar is going down. So, I'm just go ahead and just get it seared up. I have a, some butter in here, so Let's go ahead and let it get seared. Hit it with a little seasoning. And I'm going to hit it with a little of my Cajun seasoning right here, Cajun Deluxe season. I'll leave everything about this season in the description below guys you have to try this season season is awesome i mean it is that's some good season guys you need to try it so i'm only gonna do one side because like i say with the sauces in here and all the other flavors and all that stuff that's coming together i don't want to overpower it so but guys check that out right check that out <laughs> Can you smell it? Guys, if you can smell this right here, my mouth is already water. So you already know it's going to go down real soon. So I say this is cooking. When it gets through cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add in my shrimp. Let my shrimp go in for a little while. And then I'm going to toss this in there, let it go for about a couple minutes. And it's ready. We'll be, hey, we'll be trying to eat. All right. Time to get these a little flip. Uh, my little mussels for goodness. Mm, nice fit. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna let these see how they firm it. See how they firm it is. They say guard kind of like the firm of fish but so you can tell the way I, it firms up which is that's what we're going to need for this dish here because we'll let them go just like that and then we'll go while that is getting on the other side getting done what you want to do now is go ahead and add the shrimp Let that go about two or three minutes. 
And then once I put that in there, I'm gonna the go in, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid over that simmer for about a couple of minutes and then say my rice is ready. Alright, that is what you're looking for right there. Mm -hmm. so now what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we're gonna put that in here and let it go for about a couple minutes to soak in some of that flavor and we'll be ready to serve. So what you want to do now is take your gar and just add it in there just like that. Turn your heat off over there and just just work it in. Guys, look at that right there. <laughs> Man, can you smell it? Boy, if you were here, I will fix you a bowl of this stuff. So let that go right there. I'm going to grab my lid and let it simmer for about five minutes. And we're going to be ready to dish it up. All right, guys, the moment of truth has walked up upon us. And ooh, can you, if you can smell it, come on over here. Put, your, put it in here. Get right here. Stick it up. Oh man, can you smell it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dish up as I already got my rice right here. Ooh. Make sure I get some of that guard guy. You can see it. Ooh, oh, yeah. I got some of that guard from those shrimps. Scar gumbo. I'm gonna go ahead and add me a little that garnish. Make it look all nice and pretty. And to top it off right here, I'm gonna add a little of that Worcestershire sauce on it. I told you about on that rice. There it is. Gar gumbo. Right there, guys. Like I said, I told you I'm going to show you every step of the way how I made it happen, guys. And here it is. Moment of truth. There it is right there. It's hot. Right there. You can see that gar hanging out there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Woo. I got in on there. Man. Man, this is good. Oh, that's good. Mm. God, that is. Woo. Woo, man. Who would who would who would have knew? Guys, y'all know it's good. I ain't even got to tell you it's good. If you got okra, tomato, rice, shrimp, and all these flavors, you already know it's good. I can say there it is right there. That's that gar. Can you hear that? That is so firm. That is so firm. Mm. That is so firm. Mm. God, it's good. Shrimp. Mm. Mm. Shrimp cooked perfect. A tender shrimp. God, that's good. I wouldn't change nothing about that. That's good. You go out there and you catch these fish, guys, and something like like a lot of time I catch fish, I throw them back. Now me, personally, I'm not gonna keep everything I catch. Now, but some things I would like to try and see how would it taste. Um 
I had some comments about trying a gar, and, and um, I got me one, tried it, and I'm gonna tell you, you clean it right down there. You watch how you do it. You just get the little lorns off the back, guys. They, you saw it. Number one, white meat, good. So that was awesome. That was awesome. I'm gonna sit here. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna sit here. I ain't tried that sausage yet. But um, definitely try it, guys. Give it a try. Give it a try. I encourage you to give this a try. Awesome. Like I say, guys, if you got anything else you want me to try, you want me to do, you know, seasonings, you know, like what you want me to do, let me know. Leave it in the description below. But, guys, if you liked this video, if you like that portion, please like and subscribe, guys. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you like. Let me know what you think about it. Have let me know if you ever tried it before. And um, it was an awesome day out there. You know, I'm going back because I want to get on some of the um catfish out there. They say the catfish are, yeah, they are. Yes, so I want to get out there and try some of those. But other than that, guys, like I say, this is an awesome dish. I encourage you to try it. But other than that, guys, that's all I got for you today. But like always, guys, keep living life daily.